Hello everybody, it's Dingus Blash and I'm back with my monthly uh, Blu-ray um, update, uh, my Amory update. And uh, as in recent months, it has been quite a lot more than it is this month. Um, I think a few uh, episodes ago on my Blu-ray still update, I mentioned that uh, I think as of the 16th of August, I only had 11. Um, but it would probably uh, increase a little. Um, and it's now obviously the 31st and I think I've got 34. So it's still pr about a third of last month, <laughs> so <laughs> not as many, um, and I think next month might even be less, um, so we'll see, but yeah, a, a places that I usually buy a lot from, Amazon haven't bought anything from, and I think Zavi I've only bought one thing from, so uh, yeah, we'll get on with it, we'll start off with Asda, because that's where I usually buy my new releases from, uh, first up is Rio 2 3D, comes with a really nice embossed uh, slipcase, it's got a bit of foil, on there as well um, so yeah I really enjoyed the first film so I wanted to grab the second one and I always make sure I pre-order these because I want to make sure I get the slipcase and as there are like you know certain to give you a slipcase um, they never fail that's the first one and uh, the second one this is interesting um, because th this could end up being worth nothing or worth something we'll have to see uh, but it's Cumber uh, Zebra's Tale 3D and it's just a cheap animation it's only a tenner on release, but um, the people who printed these messed up with the slipcases. Um, now, I'll actually be able to show you this with Real 3D, and indeed, all the others that I've got in this video that have slipcases, um, at least U UK slipcases, this doesn't happen on US ones, but when they make the slipcases, obviously it's just one piece of cardboard, as you can see on this one, and on the side here, there's always this hole where the, uh, the hole goes for you know, the indentation on the on the Amory for whatever reason I don't know why because you can't open it anyway but that's how they do it and the seam of the slipcase is always on this side here it's always there well whoever printed this one messed up because as you can see there's no seam on that side and there's no hole either yes they've done it on this side and um, that is the that is the spine, which as you can see is completely messed up. That shouldn't be there at all. <laughs> so they really they they put the the side on the wrong side. They've done it inside out. Uh, I'm not even sure where the join is. Actually, there it is. It's actually on the front. It's on the front of the uh, Blu-ray, which it shouldn't be. It should be on the back, on the other side. So they've just messed up basically. They they printed it. Um, they've printed it upside down. It should be like that, and they printed it like that. So there you go, so it's a, a misprint slipcase, but I've never seen this happen before in any of the release, I don't know, it, it may end up becoming rare, or it might end up being absolutely worthless, but we'll see. Um, but if anyone else can tell me if they've got that Blu-ray, if, if they've got that same problem, because they may have actually, um, you know, recalled them and reprinted them, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, the third release, uh, actually all four of my releases from Alistair have all got slipcases. Um, up next is Noah, I uh, got this a few weeks ago, and... Uh, yeah, it's got a nice foil uh, slip on it. This is, I think, thirteen pound, which is pretty good for a, a new release. Uh, Rio, Rio two, by the way, I think it was eighteen. Uh, also eighteen pound. This one's I just got on Friday, actually, so I got it a little earlier than I expected because I expected it on Saturday. Uh, the other is in Spider-Man two, with a really lovely uh, embossed and foil slip case. Here. It's, it's one of the nicest ones I've had for a while. Uh, really cool and. It's uh, got the 3D disc, 2D disc, digital H HD copy, and it's also mastered in 4K. And it comes in, as only Sony can give us, uh, the wonderful clear Blu-ray cases, which I, I do prefer. Um, so yeah, that was 18 as well, and um, one thing as well about Sony, they still do it, is that they seal, unlike all the rest where it's uh, uh, the Blu-ray is sealed and then the slipcase goes over the top, with, with Sony they always seal the slipcase in with it so in a way it means that you don't have to worry about getting it six months down the line you'll still get a slipcase um, because that's how they do it but all the other companies I know they don't do that you know slipcases are generally things that are printed for the first uh, the first run that's why slipcases become quite valuable uh, but that one will never become valuable I guess because everyone will always be able to get it which is a shame because it's a very nice one Okay, so we're going to move on now to my eBay purchases. Um, going back through the month, uh, the start of the month, this one just missed the last one actually. Um, 
is Metallica Through the Never, 3D uh, Blu-ray, 3D and 2D, two discs, with a nice look case, it's got an embossed uh, title on the front. Uh, this was 750. Uh, the guy who was selling it, he had I think four copies and only two had slipcases. So I asked him to make sure he sent me one with a slipcase and he said he would send me the best one. So I was very grateful for that. Uh, he didn't have to go to that trouble, he could have just sent me a regular one, but I wanted to make sure I got one with a slip. So yeah, I was very happy with that one. Uh, and next up, uh, I bought a bundle of Blu rays of the guy basically because I'm trying to get into to buying a lot of uh, out of print titles. But if I can get them cheap, that's great. Um, so I bought a few out of print titles on, on eBay. Uh, and first up was Street Fighter. And I haven't seen this copy of Street Fighter on eBay in forever. And then you actually look back and nobody sold it in the last 60 days or whatever. Um, it's all been Region 1 imports or the Region 4. This one is one of the harder uh, ones to find when it comes to um, the out of print Blu-rays. And, and most of these out of print ones are uh, from Sony. Um, and I paid eight quid for this and uh, War Card and Jennifer's Body with the moulded slipcase, which I've seen sell for eight quid on his own. Um, and there's also the Tourist, which I'm not going to show because I've already got it in my collection. Uh, but that was brand new and sealed, so I can use that one as well. But I thought for two pound each, that's worth eight quid, and you can put whatever price you like on that one. Um, I do have the U U US one of these, but I'm going to test it and see if there's any difference between this and the US one. Um, if it's better or if it's the same if it's the same I'll just keep this one even though it's worth more and I could sell it but I'd rather have the UK one um, but yeah I thought it was a really good deal and um, also from eBay two more uh, out of print titles uh, first up was Into the Blue which um, I think I paid six quid for this was the only one on eBay that was uh, that was a buy it now um, and it was from a local lad but yeah uh, Chris Walker um, Chris Walker who's Chris Walker Paul Walker, uh, the late Paul Walker, and uh, Jessica Albert in a bikini. So, yeah, um, it's not a necessarily good film, but it, when I saw it was out of print, I thought I might as well get it for six pound. It's pretty, pretty decent price anyway. And then next up, we have one that I actually talked about last month when I got the uh, Escape from New York, and that is Escape from LA. And I got this on eBay. It was eight pound fifty, and the day after I bought it, it was gone. Uh, and now I think it's about fifteen pounds. Uh, this this actually went out of print like this month. Um, Amazon, I had it on order with Amazon, they couldn't fulfil it, so I thought I got a base. When I went to base, they didn't have it in stock anymore. They had it a week before, they didn't have it in stock anymore. Um, so I ended up going to eBay, and the one person on eBay that had it for a fair price is actually someone I've never bought from before, although I've heard of them for a long time, and that is Rare Waves. Uh, because they're always very expensive because they sell out of print and rare titles and it was £8.50 so I grabbed it and then I went back and had a look to see if he had any, any left and he hadn't had any left or he'd taken it off because he didn't have any more stock um, and now uh, yeah this is really hard to find this UK version of Escape from LA so I paid a little more than I wanted because I don't think I was going to pay 7 quid originally um, but yeah it's, it's very hard to find now so if you want to get this get it now or it could go for silly money um, Okay, so part two now. Uh, we finish up with the final one from eBay. Uh, this one's a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. It is a, a documentary. You might have noticed there the lenticular subcase, which I really love. It's Necessary Evil Supervillains of DC Comics. And it has a wonderful, one of the best lenticulars I've seen. Really nice. I didn't even expect this subcase. It was only f I think £5.40. Um, again, not released in this country on, uh, on Blu-ray. I think, I think it got a DVD, but I'm not sure. But it also comes with a digital HD copy, which I won't be able to use. Because um, I don't have a US account. But yeah, Blu-ray and DVD. But with a really lovely slipcase. Uh, I expected just to get this. This is what I expected, because that's all the pictures showed. But I thought for £5.40 I'd get it on Blu-ray. So the slipcase was a very nice surprise. Um, so yeah, I was very chuffed with that indeed. Okay, so that is those done. Uh, next up is um, four that I got from Second Spin in America. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I buy semi-regularly, at least well once every month or so, from Second Spin whenever they have an offer on. Um, now these ones I think were I had to pay for the delivery, but I think it, there was like a good discount on each one. So the four here are and I think I put these in order of how yeah cheapest to most expensive. Uh, first up is Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. 
um, which I used to have years ago on DVD from like Asia, and it came with a free paper aeroplane. I don't know if anyone remembers that box set. Uh, but yeah, I haven't had it on Blu-ray. I had it on HD DVD a long time ago. Still hasn't been given a UK Blu-ray release. Uh, it's from Paramount, so it's region free, and I think it was like four pound delivered. So much cheap, much cheaper than buying it on eBay. I think it was about eight quid on eBay. Um, so yeah, happy to finally get that. Uh, next up, this one I think was a fiver. Um, it does have a um, a cut on the front of the slip uh, on the of the amore, not on the sleeve. So I'm going to have to replace this case, I forgot to do that earlier. Um, a double movie collection, every which way but loose, and any which way you can, uh, starring Clint Eastwood. Um, and yeah, I mean, I love this, uh, well, I think I've only seen the first one. Maybe I saw both when I was a kid, but I remember definitely seeing the first one. Uh, it's two Blu-rays as well, it's not like it's two on one. It, it is two Blu-rays, so that is good. And uh, this is like a fiver, and again, not released in the UK, either of them, let alone is a double pack. Uh, the third one is my final Robot Chicken that I didn't have, and that is the Robot Chicken DC Comics Special. Um, I think this is about six, seven quid, but definitely worth it. It's only a 20 minute episode, but there's like, hours of special features. And again, you can't get Robot Chicken at all in this country. They they don't even release them on DVD anymore. You know, the first they did the first four series and they did the three Star Wars specials, but I've had to import series five and six on Blu-ray, and this on Blu-ray. Um, and I think there's going to be another Blu-ray for I think it was like a Marvel special as well they did. So, yeah, I haven't import them now because they just don't release them at all in this country for some bizarre reason. And finally, I think this one was about nine, ten quid, is uh, the Austin Powers trilogy. Three discs in one slim case, which I'm surprised they could even do. But yeah, this is weird because in the UK, I think they've all got different distributors, so um, there's never been a box set, and to buy them separately is actually probably more expensive than buying them in this, and it saves space. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen these films. Not since uh, the days of DVD. In days of yore, when DVDs were popular. Um, I know they still are, but they're, they're nowhere near as popular as they used to be. I think it's probably been nine, ten years. Cause I, got, I watched Gold Member like, pretty much after it came out, but it's been a long time since I've seen them. I don't know if they've aged well, but we'll see. Okay, next up is going to be the one item that I, go, I bought from... Uh, the and um, that's entertainment. I forgot the name of them there. That's entertainment, and that is. I mean, I bought some other stuff from them. The only Blu-ray I bought from them this month is the Italian Job. Uh, they were the cheapest. Uh, 40th anniversary special edition, 5.99. I've had this before, and I sold it when I thought the Steelbook was coming out. Uh, Zavi announced the Steelbook, and it's been a year, and it still hasn't been announced. Well, it's gonna come, but I don't know when. So I didn't want to wait anymore, so I wanted it back. So. It might end up getting cancelled, the steelbook. And at this point, since I'm not huge on steelbooks anyway now, I and mean, I don't buy them all, only buy a few, um, if it was 15 quid, I probably wouldn't, you know, upgrade. I'd rather just keep the Amory. So, yeah, classic film there. And the next up is my one Zavi purchase, but it was a very good deal. Uh, it's a three movie box set, and I was expecting them all in one, in one Amory, but it's actually three individual Amorys. Uh, which is, of course, Casino, American Gangster, and Collie's Way. I didn't have American Gangster, um, and I had Casino, but I sold the Steelbook, and I've got Collie's Way on the Steelbook, but I'm selling it um, because I just don't like the sort of horizontal Steelbooks. So yeah, this was uh, five pound forty because they had ten percent off. It was six quid, but they had ten percent off on the old Universal purchases. So uh, one pound eighty for an Amory of each film is, I mean, basically giving it away. Absolutely phenomenal value that one. Uh, so next up is Base. I've actually bought four from Base. I never usually buy from Base. Um, it's just the way it worked out. Uh, first up, this is the newest one I've got. Just got this a couple of days ago. Uh, Assault on Arkham. Uh, Batman Assault on Arkham. This one was actually bought through Flubbit. Um, for like nine quid. It was £10.25 from Amazon, which is the, the link I used. And they came back and offered me £9 dead on. So I took that because it was a pound cheaper than Amazon, and Amazon was the cheapest. So yeah, picked that up for nine quid because hey, it's it, it, it's an animated film that's been, actually been released on Blu-ray in the UK. There's not many of them. And speaking of animated films, next up, this one was a bit expensive. This is about 13, 14 quid, uh, but they were the cheapest price for it. Street Fighter Two: The Movie, the remastered edition uh, from Manga, and Manga are releasing it, and it comes in a slimline case and a red case. So it's it's a double it's a double wow. Um, but yeah, I just had to go and get that before it's too late because I have a feeling this one, I might not have made many. This, this could be another out of print soon. 
and the final two I got from base um, were two digibooks um, which were Mamma Mia and Atonement uh, I'm not really fussed on the films but they were the only two uh, UK digibooks I didn't have from Universal um, so I paid like I think it was 850 and 950 I can't remember which one was the most expensive but they were like basically £9 each I've kept them sealed because um, most of them are um, but yeah, just I'd always put off getting them because I wasn't really that fussed on them. Um, but I thought, bugger it, you know, they're starting to creep up because at one point these were like seven quid each. Um, and I think they're starting to go out of print. Most of the rest of them are, so didn't want to miss out. So I got those two. But uh, yeah, for now they're gonna they're gonna stay, stay sealed. Um, but yeah, I mean, Digibox they just don't don't make them anymore. They don't release them. Um, I've heard there's a Ghostbusters one and two Digibox, but I don't know if that's coming out in the UK. If it is. I'll have to grab that and then I'll end up having, you know, the Ghostbusters on Steelbook and on uh, on America's, yeah, Ghostbusters 2 Steelbook's coming soon. Okay, now next up is the Play.com purchases. There's quite a few. In fact, all the rest of these are Play.com purchases, so there's there's a significant amount because they're cheap. You know, obviously they're all from different places, but they're cheap. So first up, this one just missed my last video by one day. Uh, it came the day after, I think it came on the first. Uh, the Punisher. Um, the original Punisher with Dolph Lundgren, um, I think it was five pounds from, I want to say Link Entertainment. It was one of the smaller Play.com places, but again, they were the cheapest place for it. Uh, next up is three that I just got from. These were actually from Bat Entertainment, but they were on, they were on uh, Play.com under Z Overstocks. Uh, Zack and Mary make a porno. Uh, it was two fifty, cheapest priced around, and I got this because I forgot it was a Kevin Smith film, and I got all the others. Pop and Jersey Girl, I've got to wait for that to get a UK Blu-ray release. Uh, next it was Gamer, um, which uh, I've had before in the past, uh, two disc edition, it was under two quid. I want to get that back to watch again. And the third one I got from them actually um, was a, a blind buy, The Founding of a Republic, just because it has Jet Li. As we've got the part three. And um, yeah, it's got those three in it. And also Andy Lau and uh, Zhang Ji. So there's a lot of big stars in this film. Um, and for under two quid, I thought, yep, yeah, grab that. Check it out. Again, I always make sure that the cheapest prices around and on the, on those two, especially if I'm in the Republic, I think the cheapest price was about five, six quid. So to get it for two quid, and it's in mint condition, it's, it's really awesome. Uh, next up is, um, this is a random one. Uh, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I can't remember where I got this one from, but um, with the I don't have the two Fantastic Four films anymore. I used to have them. I sold them when the uh, Fantastic Four Steelbook was announced. But that's back when I was buying every Steelbook, and now I'm not sure I'll be bothering. But there hasn't been a, a second um, film Steelbook announcement, so I thought I'd grab this. It's it's actually quite hard to get cheap. Both of them are quite hard to get cheap, um, but I'm going to get the Fantastic Four Steelbook when it drops in price. So I'm just going to make do with the ammo for this one. Um, and this was. Um, four pound or two for a fiver. So I bought two for a fiver, thinking I could sell the other one. I haven't actually started uh, even thought about selling the other one yet, but yeah. So this is two fifty basically. I've got two for five pounds. Um, I'm sure I can make my money back on the other one. Um, so yeah, there was just some eBay um, seller who was selling them in their two five pound offer. And I can't remember who it was now, so I apologise for that. Um, oh, I made a mistake here. This one was also from the Dead Orbit Stocks. I should have put that with the rest. I was doing it too quickly. Okay, yeah, this is also from Sin Overstocks. Uh, Arietti, um, the Studio Ghibli release. Um, and this has the wrong number on it. It's number 6 there. It should be, I think, number 18. But this is the only version ever out. I've got all the other replacements of cases, but this one actually had the collector's edition. And I wanted all my, all my uh, Ghiblis to um, match. So I sold that for like 30 quid. And I bought this. It was what wasn't cheap. It was about fifteen pound, I think. But you know, trying to find this cheap is pretty pretty tough. I wanted to make sure I had the slipcase and everything, so I got it from uh, Z Overstocks, uh, brand new. U usually I buy used from them, but I bought this brand new. Um, so yeah, I've now got a full collection up to date of all the uh, the Ghibli releases. Ghibli, I always get it wrong. Um, and uh, yeah, just unfortunately, this is the only one that has the, the wrong numbered slipcase, but. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, they will actually send me one, but we'll see. It took them like nine months to send me the others. Alright, so next up is the entertainment store purchases from uh, from Play.com. Entertainment store, pretty much the best store on Play.com. 
so I picked these up uh, first up is a double movie set uh, the assassination of Jesse James by the Count Robert Ford try and say that three times without, uh, without stopping to breathe and uh, also Wyatt Earp uh, this is a fiver two film collection unfortunately no slipcase which is a shame because um, I know they come with them usually um, I did have the Police Academy 1 and 2 at one point before I saw that and got the complete collection when that was released that's still the only way you can get Police Academy 3 to 7 um, so yeah this was £5 I thought it was a pretty decent deal and also the same price and this one actually did come with this little case is uh, The Long Kiss Goodnight and The Assassin Point of No Return um, which I had been looking at these two films separately I think they were about four or five pound anyway so I figured why not get them together um, it is two discs uh, in, in the case but uh, yeah just cheap double film collections and finally from that's entertainment not that's entertainment entertainment store there's too many entertainments around that's what it is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street collection and this I thought was going to be a big box set I paid 15 quid and it's one Amory <laughs> it's one Amory case with five discs in it God knows how they've managed it, but it uh, comes with a slip box. Yeah, it's obviously the first film gets its own Blu ray, and the other six got uh, two two films of one disc. And there's also a bonus DVD, uh, poorly, um, poorly done there. But I guess they just didn't want to put the money into taking all the special features and somehow making them into HD quality. So, yeah, the, the bonus disc is only a DVD, but still, it was the cheapest price around £15 for all the Nightmare Long Street films. So, though, yeah finally picked that up and lastly for this video four import titles from play.com uh, from MGM entertainment I think they're called uh, who are based in Darlow just down the road and uh, this was four for twelve pounds and um, they also said if you buy a bundle of four for twelve pounds you also get a free bundle of patches and key rings and the, the patches and key rings were all right but they were free but um, yeah, the four films that I got, I think only one of them was released in the UK, but I needed a fourth film, and I couldn't think of anything else. So I'll show that one first. It's uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, um, with Michael Serra, who's been in lots of other things, Ethan Revolt, and uh, of course the rest of the development where I know him from. And Kat Dennings, who, you know, is awesome, from uh, Two Broke Girls, and she's in the four films. Uh, yeah, I really like Kat Dennings, and um, so yeah, I finally picked this up. I think I could have got a, the UK one for around the same price but I needed a fourth basically and it was brand new so um, yeah it's interesting with these that they all have these old school stickers on which are like you know blu-ray disc high definition movie plays on blu-ray players and on a playstation 3 with a HD TV so these are the sort of stickers that you got on the early blu-ray releases from like 2007 2008 they don't do them anymore and this is the old Sony style as well with the experience high definition um, like crescent thing on the bottom there they are slim cases, uh, but they are in complete English, even though they're imports, and I have no idea where they're from. I've tried to figure it out. This one has the Czech language first, so you would think that all these came from Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Oh, what's this, 1990? Uh, the Czech Republic. But it's the only one that has that on the front. So next up is CJ7. Now this is a film that I wanted to see a long time ago when I first, I first saw the trailers. Uh, it stars Stephen Chow, who I really liked in his other films like Kung Fu Hustle, um, Shaolin Soccer, things like that. Um, it, it was a, an Asian film about an alien, a little alien. Um, but I never got around to getting it on DVD. And at that point I thought, oh, I'll just wait for a Blu-ray, and then the Blu-ray never came. Um, so I finally picked it up, this up like for three quid. Um, and yet on this one, um, obviously the was Chinese, but the so only subtitles are English and Italian. So is this an Italian import? I don't know, because if it was, it would have Italian in it. So the plot thickens. Uh, the third film is another one that hasn't been released in the UK. The Replacement Killers Extended Cut, with uh, Chow Yun-Fat and uh, Mira Silvino, who at one point I thought was really hot. I mean, she is, but... Anyway. Um, so yeah, this is a, another really good film that, again, hasn't been given a UK release. Again, it's in complete English, and this time... The audio, the first option is English, the other languages are French, Hungarian, and Italian. So, is this from Italy? I don't know. Again, it could be from Hungary, could be from France. Um, and finally, last but not least, before this video, um, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, which, uh, the 20th anniversary edition, which again, I cannot believe this hasn't been given a UK Blu-ray release, but it hasn't. Um, wonderful film. The last, the last time I saw this, though, 
I was very young. In fact, it was the Betamax days. But, um, yeah, I just remember being completely just mesmerised by it as a kid. So crazy. Uh, and this one, English, Hungarian and Spanish. So, I don't know. <laughs> Three of the films have Hungarian. Um, some of them have Italian. One of them has Czech. Uh, these could be from anywhere. Someone will probably tell me actually, because um, there's a whole load of these films. They're all like three pound twenty-five anyway, but they're three quid each if you buy them together. Um, they're all they all come brand new and sealed. They're all full English. They they're in slim cases, which is better for the shelf. Um, I have no idea what, what country they actually come from, but they are all legitimate releases, you know. Um, actually, if you look at the discs, doesn't really help. But I'm out of time, so thanks again for watching.